from the Maple View Animal Hospital Studios, this is the WHTC Morning News with Gary Stevens and Peg McNichol on 99.7, 1450 WHTC and WHTC.com. We welcome you back to the WHTC Morning News for this Tuesday, September the 8th. Tuesday mornings, we have the garden party. Talking about things you want in your yard and garden, things you don't want in your yard and garden. The birds, yes. Pests, varmints, no. <laughs> and other things with the master gardener, Jan Musen from the Brine Seed. She joins us from the Mr. Butternut Building on Washington Elm in downtown Zealand. And Jan, good morning. Good morning. Uh, being the fact that it is a cloudy, gray, dingy day today, Dreary was the forecast I called it uh, earlier. <laughs> yep. uh, I do not see the star of the show. Uh, you basking. can see him? No, I do not see him. Which means, oh, oh, he's he, he's he's hiding. He's in the window, but you can't see him. Okay, I can't see him. Okay, there we yes, go. he he I, was I, just walking in front of here and well, eating a treat. Yeah, well, of course. Uh, without a treat, uh, he you know he'll make life. <laughs> Very miserable for all. But anyway, I thought yes. because we didn't have, it was a dreary day, maybe Mr. Butternut was going to, uh, you know, just sort of sulk around because he can't get his son. <laughs> he can't be basking in the He's sun. He's trying to, um, but yeah, not not doing anything. Yeah, it's, 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 what's the sun? It's supposed to be under our orders. Uh, let's talk a little bit about pets and uh, how are we doing in terms of getting pictures for the, uh, cat ca uh, the pet calendar? It's going well, but I still need more. So if you got a picture of your dog or cat, a good picture of them, I would love to get them. Or, hey, your horse, goat, chicken, fish, gecko, whatever you got. Love to get a picture of them um, for the 2021 DeBrine pet calendar. Um, and I put your name and the pet's name on it, and they'll be featured in there. So um, I try to let Limit it to two pets per person, but you can do several different shots. I'll try to get them all in. Um, just email them to me here at the store, debrineseed at gmail.com. That's D E B R U Y N S E E D at gmail.com. And she'll be happy to accommodate you in that regard. Uh, we know, of course, we know that the Brine Seed on Washington Elm in downtown Zealand, uh, a, a place to get your pet food. You know, uh, yes. after all, uh, uh, Mr. Butternut is the Neutro spokes cat, and yeah. he does uh, uh, tout the uh, tout, tout the, uh, the 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 benefits of Neutro food. Yeah. If not with his meows, with his body. But uh, the thing is, uh, do you have any? Pet food for, say, pot-bellied pigs? <laughs> no, we don't have anything. We've got guinea pig food and rabbit food and fish food, but no pot-bellied pig, no. I was just kind of wondering, because some say, you know, you just feed the pig anything and, and it'll, you know. They'll they'll eat anything because that's what they need to do. Grow. And they do grow eat anything, but you have to be careful because they have a tendency to get way too fat. So you got to. Kind of rein them in a lot of times. Oh, I'm just talking about the little, you know, as I said, the pot yeah. belly pigs. You know, yeah, the little, little pop, they still can get too too fat. Oh, and then, then you, know, said you take a look at them saying, hey, it's walking ham and, ham and bacon. Yeah, let's look at the bacon and look at the <laughs> ham on that. Yep. <laughs> Ah, uh, you don't want you know you don't want to do that. Uh, you know, no. they're they're treasured family pets. Uh, speaking about pets, one other thing as well. Uh, uh, trying to get um, uh, uh, items for uh, island dogs and uh, save a gato in Puerto Rico. So still going well. Still going well. People still keep bringing things in. Thank you very much. I'm sending another load this week. Um, the, we I can use any kind of antibiotics, any kind of. Um, flea tick, heartworm medication, um, anti-inflammatory medication. I don't care. Whatever you've got left over from your dog, cat, you, um, horse, pig, whatever, I will take them. They can find a use for them down there. Um, any pet supplies, gently used collars or leashes or toys, or, you know, even some dog or cat treats. That's sometimes appreciated. And, and of course, clean towels. Uh, have you been able to sneak some of maybe some of the toys that Mr. Butternut has not been using to say, you know, we'll we'll send it down to save a gato? <laughs> I hate to say that, but I have done that on oh, occasion. He has not spotted you. 
He has not spotted you. Don't okay. let him know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he'll he'll be he'll be asking questions and taking names. So please hold it. Where did you. my yeah? Mm -hmm. Uh yeah. But then again, maybe he might say, you know, some of those toys I played with when I was a little kitten, and I've outgrown them. So yes. uh, uh, but they have to be gently used. And gently we, used. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to send, you know, threadbare things down there. <laughs> yeah, that's a, you know, we, we, this is, this is to be nice, stu nice stuff. Um, yes. Uh, by the way, if you have a question for Jan, she'll be happy to take it at 395 1450, 395-1450. Uh, even though the calendar still says summer, it's the day after Labor Day, which means let's thank fall, as in fall that's right. bulbs. Fall yes. bulbs are here. The fall bulbs are here. The tulips, daffodils, pansies, crocuses, hyacinths, all the whole kit and caboodle. They're here at DeBrines right now, along with garlic bulbs. If you want to do some fall garlic, that is fun. You'll get to, you know, harvest it next summer. And we also have uh, some beautiful fall pansies out there and some mums. So, yes, we're all ready for fall here. Yeah, fall pansies, fall mums for your mum. Uh, that uh, definitely, yes. even though it's not Mother's Day, you know, mum can always use a mum. Mum can always use a mum, yes. Uh, you got it. Uh, which means it's time to do some fall gardening chores. And so let's talk about fall gardening chores for, first of all, your vegetables. Or vegetables, vegetables you need yeah. to um, you need to start cleaning out the uh, the. Uh, what you had there you know if the beans are gone whatever remove all the weeds remove all the debris you can put that on your compost pile that's probably the best way to go don't put anything on the compost pile that has had any disease like powdery mildew or anything else um, because it's not going to get hot enough during the winter for that to to cook out so um, make sure you only just put healthy plants on your compost pile um, and it's also once you get everything out, it's a good time to till the soil because honestly, in the spring, it's a little wet and hard to till the soil. And it's much easier to do that now once everything is out. So till the soil. Um, it's 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 just too sticky to do in the summer or in the spring. And now adding some organic matter. If you've got some compost that's already, put that on top of there. Um, some leaf, you know, leaves from your lawn later on cut up. Put them on top of there. Um, you know, let's get some organic matter into that into that dirt. Um, it will help get it in there, and it will be available for the plants next spring. Um, you can even, you know, buy some compost if you want and put it on there. Um, it's just a good idea. Or you can also plant a, a cover crop. You know, put in some cover crop rye or oats. Um, oats would be a great thing this time of year. They like it likes really cool weather. So, you know, both of them would go do well, keep green underneath the snow, and then you just then you'd have to plow it up in the spring. But it's it's a way to go to keep that 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 soil down. You don't want it to blow away. Uh, two to four inch cover is good for like herbs in that regard. Yeah, yeah. If you got your herbs. Um, a lot of mine come back, so don't just assume that these things aren't going to come back. Um, I'm always surprised oregano, um, thyme, all of that stuff will come back every year. So cut it down, you know, once you're done with it and kind of mulch over it, two to four inches of mulch. Um, and you'll be surprised what you'll be able to find next spring. It will be there growing and you don't have to buy yet more herb plants, which mm. are kind of expensive. Yeah, what isn't kind of expensive these days? Yeah, I'm okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, two more things. First of all, we're less than a month away from the start of bow and arrow deer hunting season, yes. and it's time to get the food plot set up for the uh, to entice the deer so that you can shoot them like Robin Hood used to. <laughs> yeah, just, we have a lot of people that do this. Um, usually. Labor Day weekend is the weekend they all go up north and plant, but you still got time to plant right now. Um, there's a lot of things that will come up. And honestly, anything green and growing, they will eat. So if you may have a field of, I don't care what it is, and it's, but it's green and growing, they will love it. Um, but a lot of people are putting in the in the radishes, in the turnips, in um, oats, uh, you name it. They're putting it in right now. So yes, have fun, you know, get that get that plot going and one you can final do a plot in your backyard mm -hmm. 
One final thing, we're getting a little rain as we are doing our chat today, uh, Jan, and uh, of course we do need the rain. It's very good. Yes. Uh, but the problem is sometimes if we get a lot of rain in a short period of time, we get some ponding, we get some issues, and we're getting into the fall, and if we learned our lessons from last year, Eastern equine encephalitis, West Nile virus, uh, all these little fun things are just around the corner, I'm afraid. I'm afraid too. So make sure you've got some insect barriers up outside. Um, if you've got horses, um, make sure that they are protected. Um, it is not a disease you want your horse to get, and it's not a disease you want to get. So make sure you've got that mosquito barrier up and going. Um, it, it's vitally important. And make sure you have no standing water has got some a little mosquito dunks in there. You can buy them in all sizes, even a, a jug of them that you can pour into the standing water. So make sure you got that going. She is the master gardener, Jan Musen from the Brian Seed on Washington Elm in downtown Zealand. She joins us in the garden party every Tuesday morning at this time, the Yard and Garden Hour on WHTC's Talk of the Town, Tuesdays from 10 a.m. until 11 a.m., and the Jan Musen Garden Show on Saturday mornings from 11 a.m. until noon, right here on 99.7 and 1450 WHTC. Jan, thank you very much. Hope all goes well within the next hour. Hope Mr. Butternut doesn't terrorize too many of the staffies and employees uh, while he's trying to put on his uh, best foot forward for the customers at the Bride Sea in Washington, right. New Zealand. And we'll talk to you in about an hour. Okay, sounds good. Thank you very much. That is Jan Muse and the Master Gardener on 99.7 and 1450 WHTC.